where does gratitude start? With your words? Oh, uh, hold on one second. Hello? Oh, thanks. In your head? What about your heart? Being thankful includes all of those things, your heart, your head, and your words. But I think gratitude truly begins with your eyes. It starts with paying attention, stopping to see the people around you and all the other beautiful things in your life, like the way your dad buttered and cut your toes just the way you like it. That crossing guard standing in the pouring rain to make it safe for you to get to school. The way your kid brother can turn even cleaning your room into a party. Your fingerprints that God designed for you and no one else in the whole world. That amazing, breathtaking sunset on the way home from dance class. When you truly see these things, it changes your heart. The words bubble up in your mind and you can't help but say thank you. The more you remember to thank God and the people around you, the more others can see God at work in you. And that's why gratitude is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Feeling down, you pick me up. Sing. I'm grateful for the way you've been a friend to me Sing oh, oh. And even in the deepest, darkest night You help me see Sing it out now oh, oh, oh. I just wanna say thank you For the way you love me I wanna say thank you For the way you love me I just wanna say thank you Life kids, this is Miss Hannah. I hope you are all doing well. I don't know about you, but I cannot believe it is already November. It feels like October flew by. But being November, this is also the month of Thanksgiving. And along that theme, this month we are talking about gratitude. 
Now, what is gratitude? Gratitude is letting someone know that you see how they help you and appreciating them. So there's a lot of people that we can show gratitude for in our lives, right? You know, maybe we um, are grateful when our parents help us study for a really hard test. Maybe we're grateful for our teachers who are meeting with us over Zoom and navigating these unique times. Um, or our teachers who maybe are our parents, right? And are helping us day to day to be able to accomplish um, everything we need to be able to learn more about the world and how to navigate it. Um, you know, maybe we're grateful for a sibling who um, teaches us how to play in new and exciting ways. Uh, maybe we're grateful for um, the beautiful weather and that God sent us, you know, a sunny day. Um, so again, there's a lot of things that we can be grateful for. And I want to read something from the Bible to you that talks about gratitude. So pulling out our Bibles, I'm flipping to the book of First Thessalonians. I'm looking at chapter 5 and verse 18. So um, again, the Bible is broken up into a lot of different books. Um, within those books, there are chapters, and within those chapters, there are verses. So this is 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18, and it says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ for you. So to provide a little bit of background, um, so Paul is the one who wrote the letter of First Thessalonians, and he wrote the letter to other believers, other people who believed in Jesus. Um, so he would often write to them to be able to encourage them in following God and loving God in the way that he asked us to. And so this was a book that he wrote, really a letter he wrote to other believers, so let's read that one more time. It says, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So when it says give thanks in all circumstances, have gratitude in all circumstances, does that mean that everything is always good? No, it doesn't. Um, so Paul knew this. He definitely struggled. There were times that he was put in prison because of his belief um, and pursuit in telling others about who Jesus was. There's times things are hard in our life, too. You know, this has been a really unique time with COVID where maybe we aren't able to see people the way we used to. And that can be kind of sad. Or um, sometimes people get sick. And that's really sad. Or sometimes our lessons are really hard and that is a struggle. Things aren't always super great or happy, but we are still able to give thanks. Why? How? It says, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you, in Christ Jesus. So for all of us who are believers, all of us who believe in Christ, that is a gift. We have a faith in Christ. We have a relationship with Christ. And that lasts forever. It means that all of the things that we do right and wrong, ultimately, God's going to forgive us and we get to have relationship with him. So this means that no matter whether things are going easily and they're great and there's sunshine and there's rainbows or in the cloudier days of life, we are able to give thanks. Now, Giving thanks and being grateful is not necessarily the same thing as being happy, right? You can be sad when things are sad. You can be angry when things are just really bad. Um, there's such a thing as a righteous anger. When things are not the way God wants them to be, um, you can be angry about that. But um, we are able to have joy, and that's a big part of being grateful, being able to have joy is different than being happy. So being happy might mean that you, you know, have a big old smile on your face and you just feel great. Um, being joyful is remembering who is the source of our joy, and that is Jesus. And again, for all of us who are believers, we do have that relationship and we can be joyful and we can be grateful. So I know that's not always easy, um, but we can turn to God in prayer and ask him to help us to be able to um, be grateful for the gift that is relationship with him and to be able to take that in every circumstance of life. So I want you guys to pray with me. Um, I'm just going to fold my hands and close my eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for who you are. Thank you that you give us 
relationship with you. God, this is an amazing gift, and we are so thankful for it. We are so thankful to have you in our life. So no matter what happens in the ups and downs, no matter what we do, right or wrong, you are always with us, and you love us. God, we love you. In your name I pray. Amen. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Um, hopefully, I will see you guys for the review activity. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everyone.